Welcome back, 713 right now. In your health today, the weather is getting more consistently warm and you've probably been heading outside for hiking and camping and a lot of outdoor activities, maybe just gardening, right? Well, even though our state is a perfect place to enjoy the outdoors, the risk of sun is higher here. We've got Dr. Neil Box here. He's with the University of Colorado and uh, the Colorado uh, Melanoma Foundation. Good to have you. Thanks, Kirk. It's always, good to see you again. always a pleasure. You know, something you, you and I talk about. Mm -hmm. My wife uh, had melanoma, so for me, this is personal, and we talk about how important this is. But I think that uh, people don't realize the risk is actually t literally higher here in Colorado. Well, the word is higher. That's correct. We're the mile high city, and yeah. uh, so 25% more UV up here in Denver relative to being at, say, the beach at the same latitude. And then uh, up in the mountains, when you're we're skiing at 10, 12,000 feet, right. and uh, you're up to 50% more UV up there. So Colorado definitely has, uh, I think, uh, the highest average uh, UV rate in the country in terms of uh, incident UV. See, so. And a lot of people don't realize this time of the year, maybe the sun's behind the clouds, but it still does a whole lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. Just because yeah, it's cloudy out there doesn't yeah. mean the UV rays are not getting through. Okay, let's, uh, now, now let's talk about specifics when it comes to sunscreen. We've got a couple of bottles of sunscreen here, and I know the ingredients are important, but I look at the ingredients and it's like, it's like reading Greek. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what they mean. I don't know what to look for all the time. So I think what you're going to look for is, is, is the sunscreen broad spectrum. Yeah. And uh, SPF 30 or more is what I'd recommend. Okay. Um, so, um, you know, you'd want to follow the directions on the sunscreen uh, <laughs> bottle. Put it on 15 minutes before right. you go out in the sun. And, uh, you know, reapply every two hours. But if you're swimming, you'd want to go 80 minutes or so because eventually it does. Even though they're a little water resistant, they do eventually come off. Do you think people put it on in the morning and call it good? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's for sure. So, you know, sometimes we can be good, particularly if you're, you know, you may go out in the middle of the day for some reason. Right. So you'd want to carry some with you, I'd say. Well, I know one of the mistakes, too, that you talk about often is people don't put enough on. You've got the shot glass here, yeah. which is, let, let's show people. I mean, just to give, yeah. give you an idea, I mean, because I don't yeah. think you realize. So yeah. should I fill this yeah, up? Yeah, go for it. Fill it up. I mean, is that how much we should be putting on? So if you think of your face yeah. and your, uh, your exposed parts of your hands, it's summer where it's warm. Yeah. We're wearing a T-shirt. Get that on your arms. That's, that's a lot of sunscreen. That's quite a lot of sunscreen. So you want liberal is the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong TV station for that. But, <laughs> but you want a generous, right. uh, a generous supply of, of sunscreen Certainly. on Certainly. Put on you. Okay, and then you've got some hats here, and not only are these, you know, yeah. cool-looking hats, but they're actually a local company, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. Both of these are local companies. This is Rocky Mountain Sunscreen, which yeah. is a great local brand, and this is a Wallaroo hat company from Boulder. So, um, you know, these are good local products, and uh, these guys are very interested in, uh, you know, if we're going to recommend that you go out and buy a new hat in the summer, wear a broad brim hat, yeah. use a local product. I love it. And yeah. I like, too, that it has a little tag on here that says yeah. it's actually recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. Uh, because some hats yes. don't have uh, UPF protection built in, but these hats are designed for that purpose. Yes, absolutely. So they're designed to actually screen out, yeah. you know, a very good screen of, of UV. And, you know, I'd say we really want to emphasize to people, if you're going to be out in the sun for, for a while, then, you know, try to stay in the shade if you can. Sure. After that, wear a hat or wear sun-safe clothing. If you're okay. swimming, try to wear a sun shirt. Um, but then the exposed parts of the body, the parts that you can't cover up with, with a hat and, and so forth. Um, so cover up first, yeah, cover sunscreen up first, second. Sunscreen is Got really it. second. And you don't mind that. these sprays? Well, I don't mind them, but I'd definitely use them outside. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd probably try not to breathe it in too much yeah. and, uh, you know, get it on. It's good outside, but uh, it can make a bit of a mess if you try to put and it on And make sure inside. you rub it in, too. I've heard of people spraying yeah. it and they don't rub it in. That does, there's no point, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you'd want to sort of, uh, you know, make sure it's, it's, it's on there real good. Got it. we got to run. Doctor, thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, we appreciate uh, what you all do, the, the Melanoma Foundation here in Colorado and of course your research yes. that you do at the hospital and yes. some good advice. Take the advice Greg because I was out yesterday hiking we went to Lair the Bear and uh, I'll tell you what the sun was shining and you just you don't realize because it seems so early in the season but it's out there. It's uh, an I'll, issue. I'll tell you uh, on Friday my wife and I went to Los Dos Potrillos which if you live in Highlands or Andrew Douglas County you know that place it's like